Imagine a galaxy so perfectly round that it looks like it was handcrafted by the universe itself. A cosmic enigma that has baffled astronomers for decades. Welcome to the story of Hogg's object, the strangest galaxy in the history of science. This unique celestial structure defies what we know about galaxy formation, and today we're going to uncover the mysteries surrounding it. From its discovery to the theories that attempt to explain its bizarre structure, buckle up for a cosmic journey that's as mind-bending as the universe itself. Imagine staring at an object from different angles, trying to make sense of it, but it just doesn't add up. That sense of mystery is something astronomers often feel especially when observing the peculiar galaxy known as Hoag's object. At first glance, the bright central feature looks like a classic elliptical galaxy. But then, you notice it's almost a perfect sphere, surrounded by an eerily symmetrical bright blue ring. Between the core and the ring lies tens of thousands of light years of what seems like empty space. Since its discovery in 1950, by astronomer Arthur Hoag, this cosmic enigma has fascinated and baffled scientists. For over seven decades, it stood out as one of the most unique structures in the universe. But the big question remains, how did something this extraordinary come to be? In this episode, we're diving into what we know and still don't know about this galaxy within a galaxy. Is it truly one galaxy, or are we looking at two distinct structures? That's exactly what Arthur Hoag wondered when he first pointed his telescope at this celestial oddity. At the time, astronomers had only a few theories about how the universe could create a bright central core surrounded by a glowing halo. Hoag himself wasn't even sure he was looking at a galaxy. Its strange shape reminded him of something entirely different. So, let's explore the story of Hoag's object, unravel its mysteries, and examine what it teaches us about the cosmos. Planetary nebulae, like the famous Ring Nebula, are known for their striking appearances, a bright central star surrounded by a luminous ring of gas. When Arthur Hoag first observed his peculiar discovery, he naturally thought it might be something similar. But after a closer look, he dismissed the idea. The object wasn't emitting light at the wavelengths typical of ionized gas found in planetary nebulae. Instead, the ring's light revealed something unexpected it was radiating from countless bright stars, much like those seen in galaxies. This led Hoag to wonder, if it's not a nebula, could this mysterious object be related to galaxies? What if he was looking at something extraordinary, like an Einstein ring? These rare phenomena occur when a massive object acts as a gravitational lens, bending light from a distant galaxy into a perfect ring. Intrigued, Hoag explored this possibility. However, in his original paper, he noted a critical problem. For the object to be an Einstein ring, the central mass would need to be about 800 billion times the mass of the Sun. Yet the compact golden core didn't appear nearly massive enough to fit this explanation. Later studies confirmed his skepticism. Spectroscopic analysis revealed that both the golden central core and the luminous blue ring shared something crucial. They were part of the same system. This wasn't an Einstein ring or a planetary nebula. It was something entirely unique. What exactly is Hoag's act? And how did it form? The mystery deepens, but the answers continue to challenge and fascinate astronomers to this day. Both the golden core and the blue ring of Hoag's object share the exact same redshift, confirming they are at the same distance from us and part of a single structure. Adding to the intrigue, the ring has a knotty texture, characteristic of young star clusters, something you wouldn't expect to see in a gravitationally lensed galaxy. This led Arthur Hogue to conclude that he had stumbled upon a new and unusual type of galaxy, a pathological galaxy, as he called it. And he was right. Today, astronomers are far more fortunate than those in Hoag's time equipped with tools like the Hubble Space Telescope. Thanks to Hubble's incredible imaging, we can now study Hogg's object in stunning detail. The image reveals a breathtaking blue ring of dust and gas, stretching an incredible 120,000 light years across roughly the size of our own Milky Way galaxy. Despite being 600 million light years away, 
the massive star clusters within the ring, made up of brilliant blue giant stars, are clearly visible. At the galaxy's heart lies a golden, spherical core of older, dimmer stars. This core spans about 26,000 light years, a size strikingly similar to the central bulges found in many spiral galaxies, including the Milky Way. But here's the mystery. Hoag's object lacks the signature spiral arms that typically connect a galaxy's core to its outer regions. It's as if something sculpted out the spiral pattern, leaving behind this strikingly unique structure. What could have caused such a peculiar formation? That question continues to puzzle astronomers and fuels, the enduring fascination with this extraordinary galaxy. The striking emptiness at the heart of Hoag's object has puzzled astronomers for decades. But in the 70 years since its discovery, scientists have identified many other galaxies with similar features. These ring-like structures now make up their own fascinating subcategory of irregular galaxies. One of the most famous examples you might recognize is the Cartwheel Galaxy, whose iconic shape has been stunningly captured by both the Hubble Space Telescope and the James Webb Space Telescope. Its wheel-like structure is unmistakable, but how did it get that way? Unlike the more familiar spiral or elliptical galaxies, irregular galaxies often boast the most unusual and intriguing forms. These shapes are typically the result of gravitational interactions between two or more galaxies, often through mergers or close encounters. The exact outcome of these cosmic collisions depends on many factors, such as the size, structure, and speed of the galaxies involved. Every interaction is unique, sometimes creating wild and chaotic forms like the antenna galaxies, or even leading to the formation of massive elliptical galaxies like Mighty Seven. Ring galaxies, however, are born through a special kind of gravitational interaction. These cosmic rings often result from a smaller galaxy plunging directly through the center of a larger one, sending ripples of gas and dust outward like waves on a pond. This process triggers intense star formation along the rippling edges, creating the luminous rings we observe. Hoag's object and the Cartwheel Galaxy are just two examples of how these galactic collisions can produce extraordinary and unexpected shapes, proving that the universe is far from uniform and full of surprises. Creating a ring galaxy like Hoag's object or the Cartwheel Galaxy requires a dramatic event, a cosmic collision. Picture this, a large, gas-rich spiral galaxy, something similar to our Milky Way, meets a smaller galaxy hurtling toward it at high speed. When the smaller galaxy crashes near the center of the spiral, it's like a bullseye, a direct hit that pierces through the larger galaxy like a bullet. Surprisingly, such a collision doesn't destroy the larger galaxy. Instead, it destabilizes it in remarkable ways. The impact creates ripples, much like the waves caused by a pebble dropped into still water. These density waves radiate outward from the galaxy's center, pushing gas and dust toward the edges. As this material compresses, it sparks intense star formation, resulting in the brilliant rings we observe. A perfect example of this process is the Cartwheel Galaxy. After its collision, the galaxy formed an inner, coffee-colored ring connected to the core and an outer, vibrant ring of bright blue stars. Unlike Hoag's object, the cartwheel retains visible strands of stars linking its core to the ring, a signature of its tumultuous transformation. Astronomers are confident about the collision theory because in some cases, the culprit galaxy responsible for the collision is still visible. For instance, the cartwheel galaxy's image reveals a smaller, bright galaxy nearby, rich with young, brilliant stars evidence of its disruptive role. Another example is Galaxy AM644741, where the ring is stretched into an elliptical shape rather than a perfect circle. Nearby, you can spot the dwarf elliptical galaxy responsible for punching through its larger neighbor's disk. Even more fascinating are galaxies caught in the act of transformation. For instance, objects like the Miles object showcase two galaxies mid-collision, 
capturing the exact moment a spiral galaxy is reshaping into a ring. These cosmic encounters reveal the extraordinary ways galaxies evolve, each collision leaving behind a unique and breathtaking masterpiece in the sky. The pristine environment inside the glove box was critical for ensuring the Bennu sample remained uncontaminated. However, working within such a controlled space came with its own challenges, making already tedious tasks even more difficult. The real obstacle, though, arose during the disassembly of the canister known as the Touch and Go Sample Acquisition Mechanism. Out of the 35 fasteners holding the canister shut, two refused to budge. Dust from Bennu had infiltrated these screws, stripping the threads and rendering existing tools ineffective. Imagine the frustration after successfully retrieving the capsule following its epic journey to Bennu and back. The team couldn't even open it. But if there's one thing NASA engineers excel at, it's solving seemingly impossible problems. Faced with this challenge, they immediately got to work. Since the samples had to remain uncontaminated, they designed a brand new tool, a specialized screwdriver with custom fabricated bits made from a specific grade of surgical, non-magnetic stainless steel. The tool wasn't just invented, it had to be designed, built, and thoroughly tested before it could even enter the sterile glove box. After months of effort, their perseverance paid off. Three and a half months after the return capsule landed on Earth, the curation team finally accessed the stubborn canister. Using their custom tools, they revealed another 51 grams of pristine material from Bennu, an invaluable treasure for scientific exploration. This achievement showcases the ingenuity and determination that defines NASA turning obstacles into milestones in humanity's quest to understand the cosmos. Despite having a solid model for how ring galaxies form, and examples at various stages of their evolution, astronomers have yet to explain Hoag's object, the first ring galaxy ever discovered. It defies classification, resisting all existing scenarios with its seemingly flawless design. Hoag's object stands out for its perfection. Unlike most ring galaxies, its features are astonishingly symmetrical. The outer ring is a flawless circle, and the core is not elliptical, as is typical but nearly perfectly spherical. Even more puzzling is the separation between the two structures, a clear, almost perfectly empty gap of 70,000 light years. This gap creates the illusion of two separate objects rather than a single galaxy. While it's unlikely to be completely devoid of stars or star clusters, any material within it is so faint that it escapes our detection. The emptiness is so profound that distant galaxies can be seen shining through it. One of those background galaxies offers its own intrigue. If you look closely, you'll spot yet another ring galaxy visible through the gap. It's as if the universe decided to give us a cosmic nesting doll of ring structures. hog type galaxies are among the rarest in the universe, with only about one in 10,000 galaxies falling into this category. This rarity, coupled isn't just its flawless shape, but also its mysterious origin. Unlike most ring galaxies, there's no evidence of nearby smaller galaxies that could have triggered its formation through a collision or gravitational interaction. Even more puzzling, there are no signs of past disruptions, no tidal tails of stars, or gas like those linking Andromeda and the Triangulum Galaxy, or the Magellanic Clouds with the Milky Way. This lack of interaction suggests Hoag's object has been an isolated entity for billions of years, making its formation all the more perplexing. One hypothesis suggests that the core and the ring might actually be two separate galaxies, gravitationally bound to create this remarkable structure. The core, a near-perfect sphere resembling a classic elliptical galaxy, may have captured a smaller galaxy that eventually became the ring. But there's a big problem with this idea. Both the core and the ring share nearly identical radial velocities, meaning they're essentially stationary relative to each other. For two separate galaxies to interact and remain in such perfect alignment without any relative motion is astronomically improbable. 
Hoag's object continues to defy easy explanations, leaving astronomers captivated by its beauty and mystery. It's a cosmic puzzle that reminds us just how much we still have to learn about the universe. Hoag's object is a peculiar galaxy, first discovered in 1950 by astronomer Arthur Hoag. At first glance, it might appear to be a simple ring galaxy. However, it's far more complex and mysterious. Located 600 million light-years away in the constellation Serpens, this galaxy is composed of a bright core surrounded by a perfectly symmetrical ring of stars. The core is made up of older, redder stars, while the outer ring consists of younger, bluer stars. The vast emptiness between the two gives it a striking donut-like appearance. What makes Hoag's object even more fascinating is its near-perfect symmetry which is almost unheard of in galaxies. Unlike typical spiral or elliptical galaxies, it doesn't fit neatly into any category, leaving scientists scratching their heads. Arthur Hoag stumbled upon this galactic wonder in 1950 while conducting a survey of distant celestial objects. Initially, he thought it might be a planetary nebula, but further observations revealed that it was something entirely different. Hoag noted the galaxy's unusual structure, but couldn't explain its formation. It wasn't until later, with advanced telescopes, that scientists could study Hoag's object in greater detail. High-resolution images revealed its intricate features, but even with modern technology, its origins remain elusive. The galaxy's discovery sparked curiosity, and has since become a subject of fascination among astronomers. Welcome to Blessovia Science TV where we take you on an exhilarating journey through the cosmos and unravel the mysteries of science. We are excited to offer you the opportunity to become a valued member of our ever-growing community of cosmic enthusiasts and knowledge seekers. Exclusive access to cosmic content. As a member of Blisovia Science TV, you will gain exclusive access to a treasure trove of cosmic content, including documentaries interviews with leading scientists, space missions updates, and awe-inspiring visualizations of the universe, live Q, and a sessions with experts. Your membership will grant you the chance to participate in live Q and a sessions with renowned scientists, astronomers, and space explorers. Get your burning questions answered by those who push the boundaries of human knowledge. Embark on a journey that spans the cosmos and join us in unraveling the secrets of the universe. Become a Blasovia Science TV member today, and together we will reach for the stars. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and share. Don't forget to leave your comment.